السلام علیکم لیکچر ون پارٹ ٹو کلاس فور سبجیکٹ انگلش لینگویج ٹاپک پی پی لانگ اسٹاکنگ ناؤ لرنرس کم آن ٹیکسٹ بک پیج نمبر فائیو پارٹ اے آنسر دا فالوئنگ کویشچنس واٹ واز دا نیم آف پی پیز ہاؤس سو دا نیم آف پی پیز ہاؤس از ولا ولکولا بی What were Tommy and Anika's, Anika thinking while standing by their gate? Now come on textbook page number 2. The answer of second question is They were standing there considering what they should do and wondering whether anything exciting was likely to happen or whether it was going to be one of the, those dull days when they couldn't think of anything to play question number 3 what was unusual about how pipi went on her morning walk we'll write pipi's description how she walked in the morning D. Which three countries did PP say she has been to? The first country is Congo. The second one is farthest, uh, farthest Asia. The third one is Egypt. E. Where were PP's parent? Her mother has died. And the second half part of this question is on textbook page number 4. Her father is king, king of a cannibal island. F. What did Anika say to PP about lying? Textbook page number 4. First line, it's wicked to lie. G. What did Tommy realize while he was speaking to PP? So, come on, textbook page number 4. Tommy realized suddenly that this was not going to be one of those dull days. G. Question uh, H part. What was the name of Pippi's pet monkey? Mr. Nelson. I. How do we know that the pet monkey was polite? So the answer of this question is we know Pippi monkey was polite because he take off his hat and bowed to Anika and Tommy. Question J. What details from the story show us that Pippi is a remarkable child? And question number K. How many lies do you think Pippi tells in this extract? She tells eight lies. No learners, you can find answer of these two questions or discuss these questions with your parents after reading the lesson. Number two, say whether the following statements about the story are true or false. A. Tommy and Anika lived next door to PB. True. The monkey was wearing an orange lie, orange tie. No, this statement is false. See, Pippi's shoes were too small. This statement is also false. Tommy was very shy, false. Pippi walked home backwards. Yes, this statement is true. Pippi inv invited Tommy and Anika to breakfast. Yes. This statement is also true. Now learners come on textbook page number 6. Answer the question about this line from the story. The line is, we can be friends anyway, can't we? So learners you have to answer these questions. Who said this? Who replies and what do they say? Why was the speaker worried that they might not be friends? Part B. Use the following words and phrases from the passage in sentences of your own. So learners, you have to make sentences 
from these words or phrases the first one is stepped out means come out or go out the second one is had no idea the sentence of this phrase is he had no idea where is the museum c wondering whether d grow into e gathered f it must be admitted g remarkable h you can be sure i politely part c participles fill in the blanks in the following the first one has done for you now learners you have to write the second and third form of the given words the first one is break broke broken show short short go went gone cheat cheated cheated now learners you you can do the rest of the uh, the rest of the sentences the or the rest of the words the third one is articles add articles to the following where necessary note that not all the blanks require an article types of articles or the definition of article an article is a word that modifies or describes the noun it is used before the noun to show whether it refers to something specific or not types of article the one is definite article the second one is indefinite article here a and an are two indefinite articles the is the definite article a a is used in front of singular countable nouns a person animal or thing which are not specific we don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns if a noun starts with a consonant sound b c d f g h j k e t c a comes before the noun for example a dog a chicken a boy a teacher a girl a lesson a website etc and n is used in front of singular countable nouns which are not specific we don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns if the noun start with a vowel sound a e i o u n comes before the noun an umbrella an all an image an or an enemy an author etc the we use the in front of all nouns it does not matter whether the nouns are singular plural countable or uncountable to describe someone or something specific or unique the moon the world the sun the atmosphere the rain the south the west the north etc now learners come on textbook page number 7 using who or which join the following sentences with who or which remember that we usually use who for people and which for things or animals the first three statements i have done for you this is the dog it has a strange name there the dog is a is an animal so we use which while we use who or which we remove we will remove pronoun like here in this sentence this is the dog which has a strange name yahan pe humne it ko remove kar diya this is the bin the dog tipped it over so we use which this is the bin which tipped it over this is the teacher she told the boys to be quiet here teacher is a name of is a name of a person so we use who this is the teacher who told the boys to be quiet the next one is underline the nouns in the following sentences 
so learners you already know that what are nouns noun is the name of a person place or a thing or an animal so in these in these lines or statements where there is the name of a person place or a thing we'll underline those words part d in english words are made up of syllables a syllable contain one vowel sound it is usually short sometimes the whole word can be a syllable sometimes a word may consist of two or more syllables example up one syllable turn one syllable faithful two syllables one is faith the second one is full dangling two syllable dang and ling steadily three syllable stead Lee. Listen to the way these words are pronounced. The last part of the word attend is said with more force or stressed, like attend. The first syllable in jacket is stressed, jacket. Listen carefully and repeat the following words aloud. They are all from the story you have read. Mark the stressed syllable. They say. the word then say the words aloud again okay learners allah hafiz